Hey YouTube, it's, uh, Major Sporto again here. I'm working on a harness. Um, this is a different one that I was posting about a few weeks ago, um, and I'm in a different location. I'm in my basement because it's February in Pennsylvania and it's cold here, so I wanted to just take some time to do a quick one through on this harness, and um, maybe it can cover a few things. I've been taking notes. Um, this harness has been worked on. It's not an original rip-out or donor, um, but it has a few things that the, the guy who owns it uh, would like to see changed, and it, it is kind of hacked up, so I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. But um, just to go over what we have here is we have a, uh, it's a harness that already has the circuits added. Uh, I'm going to leave these in. These circuits whoever did this did a pretty decent job um, added the four circuits here's the power circuit there's the air the O2 circuit there's the ignition circuit and when I mean power I mean for the computer and then there's the fuel pump circuit and if you go online you find these diagrams here's a sample a little beat up but you can see the four circuits okay um, this is a diagram that I printed from it's all over the internet it's not hard to find uh, but this is already done. This is what I do to the other harnesses. Um, and this is already done to some extent to this harness. So what I'm going to do, this is going on a Bronco, an early Bronco that's going to be considered an overland. Um, the guy who's building it is a former Navy SEAL, so i I got to make sure I get it right. <laughs> um, but um, he's building an overland Bronco uh, and he wants it to be pretty bulletproof. It's got a 351 Windsor. Um, he's using a Mustang computer, and uh, it's a pretty nice vehicle from what I've seen. He's been working on it for a few years now. Um, but he wants it to be pretty much fire and forget as far as the power, as far as the uh, the EFI goes. And should be, I would say, it's probably going to be pretty straightforward. But the challenge to this is kind of reorganizing everything to fit where it's going to go in the vehicle. The grommet is cut. Somebody cut the grommet open, so I can pretty much put it anywhere. But here's my, this is my 60 pin connector, as you know. I gotta pull it apart and pull some wires out of it. Has everything tape marked. You can see that's pin 17. That'll be my check engine light. Um, it's got the VSS marked in here. I'm gonna take that out. Looks like they cut it out, but I'm gonna take, um, if you've seen my other videos, I like to take the pins out of the connector altogether instead of just cutting the wires. So my mission on this one is to, um, here's my little checklist here, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to splice in the O2 harness. All right, he has that. Here's where it was. This is what's left of the connector. And the rest of it is here. Okay. Here's the rest of it. So here's my O2 connectors, and they're in decent shape. That's one sensor. And there's the other sensor right there. So... I can put those on. I can put this in. Usually I don't find these in good, as good a shape as this, which is nice. But So I'll splice that in to here, this connector. I cut that connector off. And I'll hardwire it in, make it a little cleaner of an install. This is kind of crappy right in here. Some of these wires are all kind of seem to be routed and cleaned up and pulled out. Here's the dreaded salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to be removing them as well, splicing it in with his engine harness. This is the engine harness. Okay, so here's my salt and pepper shaker on the other side. I'll cut these off. And then this, I thought this was interesting. Here's my, here's my throttle position sensor. This is fine. But here's the EGR. I usually eliminate the EGR altogether. And certainly on this vehicle, it's going to be, it's going to be a necessary repair. But this is one of those delete plugs. I've never seen one of these before. Um, typically, I use the resistors to remove this. You can used to be able to buy these online. I haven't seen them in a while. Never mind the tape. This previous owner had tape all over this thing. But what this does is this plugs into the connector. The, this is the EGR valve connector. This plugs in. See, it says delete on it. It's upside down. But um, it plugs in, and it, it creates a, uh, a false signal to the computer so the computer doesn't throw it um, an error code and the check engine light. Um, so I'm going to be messing with that. I just I might study that a little more. 
I've never seen one. There used to be a gentleman online, um, Ryan. He used to sell those, but I haven't seen those for sale in a while. So I might uh, see about reverse engineering one. But anyway, this harness, I'm going to plug away at this harness over the next few weeks, get it cleaned up. I promised I might have it back by the end of March, and hopefully, hopefully it'll be what he wants. I, I really don't want to take this apart. I typically, I was going to use my, like this is a waterproof solution here in this bag, but this has to be all assembled, and I usually do that when I have a fresh harness, and I, this is already done, so I don't really see the need to take, I don't like breaking things that are already working. But I'm going to make sure everything's intact. Um, I already cleaned up some of this. There's my, if I look at that right, that's a ground. And then, uh, as I was, yeah, that's a ground. And this is heat, start run, and then this is battery power. So I'm gonna, this will go to the battery, and this will go to the solenoid, and then this will ground everything. So it's already pretty well cleaned up. And another battery wire here, too. That's that. That goes right back to the pin one, powers up the computer. So I have a pretty good, uh, I have a pretty good, baseline to start from on this uh, but it's going to be uh, for 351 I think he has an Explorer um, upper and lower and uh, or maybe a Lightning or maybe a truck I can't recall but he definitely has a Mustang computer so so we'll see I'll keep you posted on this one um, see how it goes all right have a good one